Here on Lemons World, we talk a lot about $500 by ass, but usually that is reserved for internet trolls who are offended by what they perceive as a valuable classic or something with a dominating performance advantage, neither of which is a Toyota Prius. So when this 2007 Prius Touring Edition showed up and the internet was full of trolly butthurt, you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. We could not figure out why. Yeah, this is the team Rattlesnake Electric Sport and their Prius was totaled in 2015. In addition to the crash damage, somehow the whole computer system was shot and the car was basically bricked. You would need a PhD in electrical engineering just to figure out how to turn the damn thing back on. Now, here's the thing about this team. We generally praise college kids and newbies and people with no experience at all in Lemons. Well, this team isn't that. They've got decades of race car fabrication experience. They've got uh, professional IndyCar drivers on this team. And frankly, team principal Rich, I, I think he actually does have a physics PhD, probably does. But really, that just makes it all the more awesome that they wanted to run a Prius. Now, the team captain Rich and his wife Madeline, they figured that Prius efficiency could be a real asset in an endurance race. Now, that's PhD thinking. So they immediately dove into this thing to get it prepped for lemons racing. Basically, this was a pretty standard lemons bill. I mean, Rich spent quite a long time de-screwing the computer, but eventually did get the car to run. And beyond that, it's just got 17 by nine wheels. The brakes are stock and quote, usually on fire and some simple lowering springs on an otherwise stock suspension. They put this thing on a dyno and it makes 88 horsepower, which when pushing 3,100 pounds makes for less than impressive performance. Lap times, not good. But the efficiency benefit is real. With a stock Prius 12 gallon gas tank, it can race for three plus hours. If they went to the maximum allowable lemons fuel cell, which is 24 gallons, they could conceivably run for an entire day without stopping. Now, long range is one thing, but staying out of trouble, staying out of the penalty box, that is equally important. And this team has been very successful at that too. They've got a lot of super talented, super experienced drivers, including Indy car driver Memo Gindley, who, let me just add, has a Prius street car himself. You know, Indy car drivers, they drive Priuses on the street. Non-Indy car drivers, they drive Hellcats. So this is a group that is generally just fine with 88 horsepower and mediocre handling and staying out of trouble. In fact, as a group, they are so good at staying out of trouble with 88 horsepower and mediocre handling that they finished 11th overall out of 120 cars. Now here's the thing, you don't need a Prius to have a Lemons car that has 88 horsepower, weighs 3,100 pounds and can go three hours on a tank of fuel. That is easily achievable with any number of cars within the rules. You could do that with a Toyota Echo, or a Hyundai Accent, or a Tempo. As always, the real key is staying out of trouble. So, I think we figured it out. I think the real reason people were butt hurt about the Prius, they did not want to lose to it. <laughs>